If you're trying to screen share something with Discord or are simply trying to launch the app, you can run into black or gray screen issues. My name is Yadullah, you are watching Candid.Technology and in this video we are talking about how you can fix the black screen error on Discord. Now you might run into the infamous black Discord screen for a bunch of reasons. The first solution is that we try and reinstall or uh, rather restart Discord. So right click start menu and uh, click on task manager. Once task manager opens up, you will see a bunch of Discord processes running in the background. Select the one that's causing or uh, using the most resources and click the end task button. Once all Discord processes are gone, we can close this. I go to the start menu and launch Discord again. Now this will take a while because Discord will restart, reconnect to its servers and so on and so forth. But if you give it just a little bit of time, you should see that Discord is running and now you can uh, avoid the gray or black screen on launch and also when you're sharing your screen. The next thing to do is pretty simple is to check if your internet connection is working as you expect it to. So as you can see, I'm connected to Wi-Fi at the moment. And now if I head over to my browser and run a speed check. Um, yeah, so it's not the fastest internet connection in the world, but it's enough to get Discord running. And now if I were to head over to the Discord status website, which is discordstatus.com, Scroll down and check the client. You can see that the desktop, iOS, Android and web client has had 100% of time for the last 90 days. So nothing is wrong with Discord at the moment. Next up, try deleting Discord's temporary files to sort of reset the cache and get the streaming part or the launch part of things going. Sometimes having uh, Corrupted files in the cache can cause problems with programs not launching. So we'll go ahead and do that. Press Windows key plus R. Let me bring this up here. And type percentage sign, app data percentage sign, press enter. Now this will launch a folder. You can delete everything in the folder if you want, or you can just go ahead and delete the Discord folder. Keep in mind that once you delete it, you're going to have to log into Discord again as it wipes everything off the cache. So uh, you can go ahead and delete it. Once you're done deleting it, you can restart Discord and that should fix the problem. Now, if you're sharing a website like Netflix or Hulu or any DRM protected website that does not allow its content to be streamed over a third party app, you can try one trick. You can try disabling hardware acceleration. We don't recommend you do this because it will affect the performance of your browser, but in case you can't find any other option, you can try this. So open your Chromium based browser, head over to settings, wherever they might be on your browser. And I'm just going to search for hardware acceleration or just look for acceleration. Um, yeah, use graphics acceleration when available. Just disable this slider. The setting is called the same in Chrome as well, I believe. So just uh, disable this option, restart your browser and try again. Next up, some settings in Discord can also cause this issue. So let me just start up Discord real quick. And in here, head over to the user settings option. Scroll down to voice and video. In here, you're going to have to experiment with some options. Uh, number one, open H.264 video codec provided by Cisco Systems Incorporated. Now, uh, you may or may not want to use this option depending on what works for you. So try, it. if it's enabled and it's not working, try disabling it and see if that fixes the problem. We can also do this for hardware acceleration on Discord, but we don't really recommend because as far as I know, uh, this shouldn't really cause any problems like that and should only help Discord run better on your PC. 
one more thing that you may want to disable is uh, use our advanced technology to capture your screen now this uh, in- injects a signed dll into the application whatever you're trying to capture to capture frames and that can cause problems with games uh, or web browsers thinking that a malware is trying to inject themselves into them so uh, try disabling this slider if it's enabled to see if that helps your black screen issues last but not least if nothing else works your best bet is to go ahead and reinstall discord from scratch so to do that we will right click the start menu and head over to installed apps we'll give this a second to load up Okay, and now that it's all running, let me just scroll down and find Discord. It's right here. Click these three dots, click the uninstall option. It will ask for a confirmation. Go ahead and click uninstall again. And once it's done doing whatever it is doing, um, reinstalling Discord in this case, you can go ahead to the web- uh, Discord website and re-download the Discord client to see if that solves your problem. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you want to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.